Images of vigorous protests across the United States had top newscasts around the world. That was after grand jury decisions not to indict white police officers in the killing of two unarmed African-American men, Michael Brown and Eric Garner. For many ethnic minorities in the U.S., the American dream is turning into a nightmare. A revealing study by the Institute on Assets and Social Policy found that equal achievements can yield unequal rewards based on race. In addition, U.S. human rights flaws extend far beyond staggering racial inequalities. The hegemony the country has exercised in a large swath of the world, the torture tactics it has laid on foreign prisoners, and the repeated campus shooting sprees that have claimed numerous lives of innocent students all point to the sheer hypocrisy of the United States as a defender of human rights. On foreign soil, U.S. troops are waving their proud American flags to shed the light of civilization to every corner of the world. Meanwhile, their colleagues back home are stretching their tentacles into the emails and mobile phones of ordinary Americans, as well as heads of state, including traditional U.S. allies like Germany. The list, no doubt, goes on. I am concerned it may have hurt American relationships with other nations with whom we may cooperate on intelligence and military matters. Beneath the camouflage of human rights is America's deeply rooted, long-held world leader mindset. And it might need to be further reminded that in a new era of globalization and multipolarization, no one, not even the mighty Uncle Sam, can continue to boss other nations around and play the role of God.